What's causing the heat wave? Let's continue our team coverage tonight with 13's Brent Palmer visiting the National Weather Service office in Topeka for some answers. Alyssa, I was able to talk to a meteorologist about a phenomenon known as the heat dome, the biggest factor right now, and learn some ways to beat the heat. The cause of our weather woes this week is a heat dome that is extending into our region. But what is a heat dome? It's just a colloquial name for what, what we call a ridge of high pressure and that sits across ports in the United States and you see very hot temperatures underneath it. The current heat dome is over the south and central United States, which isn't uncommon this time of year. This one seems to be slightly stronger than average, but we see temperatures on average um, six or seven times a year that reach 100 here in Topeka. Um, this will be our first of the year, so on average we can expect a few more throughout the uh, later portions of the summer. That doesn't mean the dome isn't dangerous. He is our leading killer both in Kansas and across the country as in terms of weather related events that cause fatalities. So it is something that we need to uh, keep in mind and take seriously. Camp counselor Mason Lang is one of many Topekans hitting the pool today. He gives us a few rules we can all follow to stay safe this summer. We usually just like to follow the protocol, keep them in the shade, make sure they have a lot of water and make sure they wear sunscreen. And every 30 minutes or an hour, the, the pool has a safety break and we bring them out and make sure they're drinking the necessary amounts of water. Sometimes the simple pleasures can save your life around this time of year. Have a fan just blowing onto you and just in your bed reading a book or just doing really whatever you want, uh, watching TV, reading a book, uh, any type of that fun stuff. Uh. These extreme temperatures will decrease Wednesday and Thursday, jump back up on Friday, and decrease once again over the weekend. You can find more information on our weather later in the broadcast. Brent Palmer tonight. Thanks for the update.